I know I didn't mention this in the beginning, but one of the other things I'm trying to do with this haul is to make sure I'm responding to the comments. A lot of people had a lot of great suggestions in terms of what they wanted to see in terms of styling. Some mentioned red, some mentioned leather, some mentioned blazers, vests. So I figured how do I create outfits that kind of speak to what you guys wanted to see, but also tr kind of true to what I wanted to do in terms of the suiting. And I feel like everyone has suitings, whether if it's your pant bottom, your blazer, your vest in their wardrobe. And those are all key pieces that we tend to wear a lot during the fall. So that was kind of a little bit of my thought process in terms of putting these looks together. What's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a really fun video. This video is all about one of the biggest trends for fall 2023 and that's suiting. Um, I decided to create a video outfit inspiration haul basically featuring numerous pieces that you would find in a suit. So your blazer, your vest, your trousers, and create multiple outfits for you guys to serve as inspiration and kind of like a guide to how to style your suitings or your suit pieces for fall 2023. So that sounds like a vibe for you and you know you want to get more creative with your, with your suits just go ahead and keep on watching if you're new here what's up i'm monica and i'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of atlanta and if you love fashion fashion and more fashion just go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell that way you never miss a video i do tend to well, I would say my focus is a little bit luxury. However, I love a good deal. So you'll find a lot of high-low fashion inspo. So we do Zara, we do H&M, we do Michael Kors, not Michael by Michael Kors, but Michael Kors. We'll do Legends, which is what I'm wearing right now. So there's a little bit of everything. There's something for everyone. And if some of these pieces are just out of your budget or too high price point wise, I will always link more affordable options and I mix everything in. So this haul will feature pieces from Zara, pieces from Net-A-Porter, some things that are already in my closet. I just really wanted to create a lot of fun outfits for you guys. So just get your popcorn, sit back, relax and chill and let's get into this video. It's really good. Let's get into it. Okay, so this first look is absolutely amazing. I love a great suit. If you guys have not seen my LA vlog, whatnot, that was kind of like a haul and I originally showed this suit and I really wanted to style it up. I did actually style it on Instagram without any layers, just kind of the suit has it on its own with a pair of platforms, but I wanted to do something different. I wanted to create a look that you could probably wear for a conference or if you wanted to wear it to church or maybe a fun little brunch or something with more of a theme. This is a great way to kind of take a men's inspired suit and make it very edgy, but still have a masculine vibe, but still make it look good and add feminine touches to it. So I did this blue dress shirt. It is from Jay McLaughlin. And then I have this Chanel tie, which is from my husband's closet. I actually bought it for him many, many years ago. And of course I'm stealing it and using it for myself. We're doing the Manolo Blonix with this look as well. I love the shoes. They look great with the outfit. And you really will only see the shoes when I walk because the fit of the pants themselves is more of a fit and flare, which I absolutely love. Um, also, depending on your heel or how tall you are, I'm about five. Five, five and a half, five, six, I like to round it up. Um, they're just right, but you know, if you're any shorter, you definitely have to get them hemmed. And then of course, with the power suit, we have to have the power bag wearing my blue Kelly. Just those hints of blue, hints of shades of different blue kind of bring everything together, but I love. I'm, I'm obsessed. This is just a great way to show the suit has one piece, but at the same time, this blazer will look absolutely stunning as separates, and the pants would out look absolutely stunning without the blazer and vice versa. Well, yeah, I kind of said that. Anywho, I love this outfit. It's a vibe. Like, is it not reading money? Is it not just like, I am here, I mean business, I look great. 
Of course, this is a very, very, very luxe look. Um, the Jay McLaughlin shirt is probably the most affordable thing in this outfit, but you know, it doesn't have to be a Michael Kors suit. It can, you can still have the same idea or you can create the same look you know, with just what's in your closet already. Or, you know, if you want to splurge, hey. And I will link an affordable option. H&M has a very affordable option that I will link for you guys. Do we not love? I love it. Yay. On to the next. Okay, so this look, I'm obsessed. Completely obsessed. Um, this time around doing pinstripe pants. They're from Zara. And this vest, the pants have navy. Two different shades of navy and two different um, pinstripe details. Of course, you know, they're very unique. Um, even though I feel like they would leave and live in my closet forever, if it's too much, a black pinstripe is definitely a great option, or a navy pinstripe. And then the, the pinstripe um, vest that I'm wearing, also from Zara, has that beautiful white um, ha um, trim that I love. It's kind of a blackish, navy-ish color, um, but, it's, but it's definitely not a perfect match, but it still looks great. I wanted to pair it with something a bit more casual, cool, so I'm doing my Chanel loafers. I use the gold, brush gold detail on the loafers to pull in this gorgeous sequence jacket from Zara. And also, instead of just doing your classic um, blazer, I figured why not do something a bit more interesting, right? But it still has a casual, cool, menswear inspired look, and I love that. Then also, I did my little Fendi sequence baguette because we love this bag. It's just a vibe, it's really fun. But I'm obsessed with this outfit, guys. Like, it's casual, cool, it's like very, like, oh, you know, with the sequence and all of that, but there's still a relaxed vibe to it. And this is everything. I am so comfortable. If it wasn't for the fact that these, the sequence gets caught on my braids, this would also be a really great fun travel look too. But the possibilities of where to end, wear an outfit like this too are endless. Um, um, definitely a more casual event. If you have somewhere that you want to go to that requires a lot of walking, this would be great for that as well. I would do this for brunch because I have moments where I just feel like very tomboyish, but I also want to feel a little sexy. You could also open up the vest. Um, I have a bralette under it, so I could wear it open like this too. And you know, that's also really cute, really fun, a little sexy. And I love it. Isn't it fun? <gasps> you know when you put on those outfits and they just make you feel good and you make, they make you feel like that girl? That's what this is doing for me right now. I love it. I know I didn't mention this in the beginning, but one of the other things I'm trying to do with this haul is to make sure I'm responding to the comments. A lot of people had a lot of great suggestions in terms of what they wanted to see in terms of styling. Some mentioned red, some mentioned leather, some mentioned blazers, vests. So I figured how do I create outfits that kind of speak to what you guys wanted to see, but also tr kind of true to what I wanted to do in terms of the suiting. And I feel like everyone has suitings, whether if it's your pant bottom, your blazer, your vest, in their wardrobe. And those are all key pieces that we tend to wear a lot during the fall. So that was kind of a little bit of my thought process in terms of putting these looks together. I'm obsessed with this outfit. The pinstripe blazer is very oversized. It definitely has more of a stylish flair with the extra panels and the different pin um, stripes running through it. But I paired the blazer, obviously that's the suiting part, but I paired it with this gorgeous cashmere sweater that Talbot sent over to me. And then we've got this awake mode skirt. The shades of red are different, but I really wanted to share and show you guys that it doesn't matter if the shades of red are not the exact same, it still works. And you can create an absolutely stunning outfit as you can see with this one. I feel like in the viewfinder, the look is a little bit on the orange side, but the skirt is definitely a, blue undertone and then this one is slightly blue undertone but there are hints of like orange and yellow in the in the actual wool so you can actually easily pair this with a bit of yellows and oranges and you know warmer colors as well so but it works and I love it also I use the white or off-white detail in the stripes to kind of put um pair these Amina Muwadi pumps and they just elevate the outfit it looks very chic it looks very put together I'm here for that also, I'm doing my oversized clutch from Ella. It's a Canadian brand. I love it. 
and it's just a vibe. This is an outfit we can all recreate, right? And if we need, like, oh my God, I love this skirt, I need this skirt, I think it's sold out, but I will, I, I will link a similar option because Awake Mode does have a similar option. But everything else is still available and I will link it for you guys. I love this one. If you love this one as much as I do, do like a red heart, black heart, red heart, black heart. Let me know that you love this just as much as I do. It's so good. When I tell you I am obsessed with this outfit, I'm not kidding. Like, the brand was very gracious to send me this look. I had requested for it because I told them I was doing content around vest. Guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing out because I did like a whole video. Well, I don't know if it goes live by the time this goes live. I think it goes live after, no. Yeah, it should be live. Anywho, it's all around vests. So your classic vest, your traditional vest, and different ways to style them. So make sure you check the video out because it is so good and it's just really versatile and I just really want to create more options but this is in more of your modern vest and I love 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 it um, this vest is great because you can layer it I didn't want to layer it I just wanted to wear it more as a top because it's still warm ish outside and then the pants are amazing it's in your classic tweed there are hints of blue in there that's why I decided to incorporate my blue Chanel carry it has a top handle and just keep it simple sometimes less is more and you make more of a statement when you're not adding too much to an outfit. Mind you, if I really wanted to layer this, I would have done a white dress shirt, which would also add a touch of elegance. I would preferably do a dress shirt that has a longer sleeve. I think that would look really good. Or a turtleneck, that would also look great. And then you can throw a nice overcoat over it. But for the most part, this is stunning. Beautiful, beautiful set. Um, I paired them with my Fendi pumps. These are a new pickup for me. I love them. I shared another pair of Fendi pumps that I got in my um, LA vlog, but I ended up returning those that pair because this was the original pair that I wanted and this pair is so comfortable. I wore them for many hours and I was absolutely fine. So if you are looking for a great pump that kind of has a neutral vibe, comfortable statement piece. It has the backing on the heel. Um, there's a little padding on the back of the heel that just allows it to be very comfortable so there's no digging in. This pair is everything. I am so obsessed with them. I'm so happy I got them. And I can't wait to wear this outfit out because it is a vibe. You can wear this to multiple events. Um, if you're gonna wear it to church, definitely layer it. But I could do this to brunch. I could do this to go to a museum, to um, maybe not a speaking event, or if I was gonna do a speaking event, maybe layering, or if it was fashion focused, I could probably do that. But the possibilities are endless. Like, this is just everything. And if you wanted to wear an outfit like this to work, you probably do what I did, pin it up, maybe wear another piece under it, a dress shirt. This would look great layered with a dress shirt. I'm actually motivated to get a white shirt and, and show you guys. One moment, please. I mean, how fabulous does this look, right? Um, the shoulder, sorry, not the shoulder, but the arm opening is a little tight on this and my shirt is a little on the baggier side. So I would recommend a shirt that is probably a little bit more fitted, but I wanted to wear this shirt because it was the only one that was readily available and it's crop. So, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be a crop shirt because you can easily just tuck it in, but just kind of to give you guys an idea of what it looks like and just how it adds a bit of a fashion flair. So this collar looks really great. It's framing my face really well. I noticed I buttoned it all the way to the top and I Ideally, the sleeves on this shirt are usually a little longer, but because the arm opening is a little on the tight side, so it's a little shorter, but I, in my head, a, sh a longer sleeve, but it still looks great with the shorter sleeve, as you guys can see, but a longer sleeve just adds a bit more of a fashion flair to it, and I love it. Um, oh, I thought there was an opening for a pocket square. That's what I was checking, but there's none, but a pocket square would also look really good with this look, but a vibe, right? And let me get the bag so you guys can give, get the full visual. Is this not fabulous? I'm obsessed. We love, okay, on to the next. Okay, so this is not your conventional suit or vest, but this tweed vest, well, technically a female vest, but still it has a modern twist to it. From Zara, I'm obsessed with it. I love the gold buttons. You can swap them out, you know, if, you don't want the gold buttons or if you want something a bit more subtle or just in a different metal. 
but I love this. This is really beautiful. I paired it with this GSTQ skirt. You guys would have seen this skirt. I've showed it in a haul. I showed it multiple times on Instagram. Styled it for Fashion Week. Very obsessed with this look. Wearing the vest, even though it, you could wear it outside and layer it, I wanted to wear it as a top. Also, if the skirt being sheer is too much for you, this is a great option where by the jacket is long enough to cover the bum. Um, also, I did my um, Jean Benito Rossi heels or sandals rather. They do a great job of complementing the skirt. And then we've got the Saint Laurent takeaway bag. Keeping it simple with accessorizing, I wanted to do a gold and silver necklace, but I felt like no, it's just, it's a vibe on its own. You don't need a lot. And I think part of the thing about styling and creating really great looks is to know when to end. And know that you don't always have to add so many layers to make it stylish. Obviously, if it's cold where you are, a great overcoat would look great with this outfit, um, but it's just fabulous as it is. You get to show off your arms, sexy, clean, but also sophisticated, and I'm here for that. Love it. On to the next. Okay, next outfit. We're showing off this beautiful pinstriped blazer from Zara. It's very old, but I know they tend to like recreate this all the time, so I'm sure there's very similar options available. Um, and then I paired it with this vest from Kate. It's amazing. I love it. I also added this faux collar, so it's just a collar. It's from Cost. It's also very old, but I do know Amazon has some similar options, so I will link that. And then my skirt is Kate. Um, I did get this like during the sale. I know they brought it back regular price, unfortunately, but if I can find it on sale, I'll link it as well. So in the spirit of um, black and white, I added this black and white Chanel bag and then my black and white Kate boots we love. Also, you guys requested to see more denim. So I decided like, let's dress up the denim a little bit and have fun. So wearing it with the collar to just dress it up a little bit, the pinstripe blazer in the white and black, white and black accessories and all of that. I am obsessed with this outfit. It's so fun, it's so cool. And I can see so many people wearing this and doing, you know, just making it, it's, it's kind of like a surprise with the, you know, the denim vest. And I love it. You know, the vest looks great on its own, but layered this way, it also looks amazing. And I'm here for it. This is so fun. Okay, so this next look, I am completely obsessed with it. This dress is good American. I have a, I think it's Wolford, um, not Wolford, but um, Wilco, Wil Wil I can't remember the name of the brand. It's not. It Marks and Spencer's bralette under it. And then we've got about four Chanel pins here. Um, the last time I did this, somebody's like, where did I get that pin from? There are four different pins. I've been collecting them. And I have some more, but I've been collecting them for a while. Anywho. The suiting aspect of this, this beautiful um, blazer dress, it's good American, I love it. It's so sexy, it's so simple and fun, um, and it's just a vibe. But of course, we all have a blazer dress, or we've all considered a blazer dress, especially now that the holidays are coming in. But I would say, add some fun, add some pins, some brooches to really spice it up and give it a different look. Then, can we have a moment for these shoes? Uh, I have been dying. So I got these shoes in Dallas. I'm obsessed. They're mock and mock. I've been eyeing them for a minute and I'm obsessed. But I am a little upset because this pair was like $9.85, but Matches has similar pairs, not in this colorway, but similar pairs for $5.20, $5.30. Of course, I will link all of them for you guys because I got you covered, but they didn't have the black and pink and that. The black and pink spoke to my spirit. It spoke to my soul. Um, yeah, so I, I did the extra. Basically, I just won't do anything else. <laughs> um, I could have gotten two for the price of one, but they're just everything. And of course, we had to include my pink classic Chanel, just carrying it kind of like a clutch. Um, and it's just beautiful. This outfit is a vibe to me. It really is. I'm obsessed. There's not much to do in terms of explanation. It speaks for itself. It's just classic black dress. And then, you know, these little accessories to kind of add a touch of my personality to the look. It's fun, it's pretty, it features pink, and it's just all, all around good times. I love it. On to the next. Okay, so this look is another look that I just am obsessed with. Super fun. 
a little different than what we've seen. I know that I feel like the pieces are almost basic and you've seen me, you know, with this Frankie Shop blazer many times. I've styled it so many different ways, um, worn it to many events and posted it, but it's all about repurposing, guys. There's nothing that says, there's no rule that says you cannot rewear what's already in your closet. And of course, we're here to share inspo, especially for the girls who bought the blazer. So, love the blazer. Everyone has a very boxy blazer, and that's really why I wanted to do this particular look. I paired it with these fabulous pants. They're, called, they're from a brand called Pixie Market. I love them. I'm gonna open up the blazer just so you guys can really see the actual detail of the pants. <gasps> Let me come a little closer, like, do you see this? Like, the belt is part of the pants, and if I'm correct, the pants were like under 200, so great price point for a fabulous pair of pants. So I opted for this tailored, more tailored, or, taper, or tapered leg pant, because I just wanted to show how well a boxy blazer looks with a tapered hem pant. I tend to do a lot of wide leg pants just because they make me feel like I'm in sweatpants and they're super comfortable, but a tapered leg pant also is can be very comfortable depending on the fit. This one is definitely wider on top so it's extremely comfortable but it tapers in and it's great with mules. These Manolo Blahniks are comfortable, they're fun, they're interesting and I've been loving green lately hence I added the pop of green. I do not carry this Bottega bag enough. It is like a work of art and I'm obsessed with it. So I figured you know what this is great inspo. I'm gonna wear this outfit out <laughs> but not only that's the thing about these hauls not only do they serve as inspiration for you guys but they're also inspiration for me because when I'm scrolling through like my phone and I you know need to wear something it's inspo for me as well so you know you don't necessarily have to wear it open with the bralette I really just wanted you guys to see the detail of the pant but even open with the bralette um, from Marks and Spencer's it's old it looks great I love the pop of color with the green it's just a vibe it's really cute very comfortable very sexy and still menswear inspired and I'm here for it I love it. Love it. All right, guys, there you have it. Which outfit was your favorite? Which style tip was your favorite? Let me know with your comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys are inspired. As always, there will be shopping links to everything featured in the description box. Anything that has sold out, I will try and find an alternative or something similar. If you guys have any questions, feel free to send me a message. You can DM me, DM me on Instagram or just send me an email to oddbymonica at gmail.com. Um, what else? Else. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for style inspiration in between these videos. I only do four videos every month now, so every Friday you will always get a video. The times vary depending on the day. I try to do 11.45. I feel like that's like a great time where people, you know, take lunch or, you know, if you're in a different country, it's kind of like a good, a good time frame. But if it's not, let me know because I really want to make sure you guys get to see these videos. But every Friday, trust and believe. After you get home from work, or if you're taking your lunch break, or if you're going to end your day early, just go to YouTube because you know I have a new video there for you guys. So as always, thank you for watching. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. If I didn't say so already, it's Odd by Moni. Uh, as you can hear, my voice is like a little crispy. It's all the traveling that I've been doing. I've been doing a lot, and I have another trip coming up, so your girl's tired. But like I said, follow me on all those platforms. You get to see what's going on in real time. You get to come with me on all these trips. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.